turgis capacitor last night and as you can see we still have over six volts on there so remember with capacitors they may hold a charge so you always want to make sure they're discharged before you put them into a new circuit so in the last video I charged up this capacitor through a resistor and we measured the current and as we saw at first a lot of current went through but it slowly kept uh, going down less and less current was going through over time and we used a 10 kilo ohm resistor so that we could keep it in the microamp range so that uh, you know we could start with about 800 microamps and watch it slowly work its way down until we got to about one so now in this video when we take our measurements we're going to start with a full capacitor so we can do that simply by touching it directly to the battery now remember this is a small capacitor not much currents involved so it's okay to do this a large capacitor you would not want to attach directly to a battery and also remember this is a polarized capacitor one side has to be more negative than the other at all times so I made sure that this side of the capacitor touched the negative side of the battery so now we take the resistor connect one end to the positive side of the capacitor and over here to an empty row that's because when we take our measurement we have to make the multimeter part of the circuit we have to put it in series because all the current we're measuring actually has to go through the meter to get our measurement so now we have the charge capacitor the multimeter ready I set it to microamps which looks like a, a little U A and uh, we'll put uh, the red probe towards the more positive side of the capacitor and then the black probe towards the more negative so you can see we started about 700 I kinda lost my grip and uh, it's dropping by the hundreds now uh, not quite as fast as when it began now it's dropping by tens again you notice that as it gets lower it drops slower it was dropping by hundreds now it's dropping by tens and uh, now it's just dropping by single digits so the more charge the capacitor has the more current that it releases and it's actually at a higher voltage when when it's more charged and as it discharges it gets a lower voltage it can push less current and now you can see again we're at about the uh, the one microamp range so now if you've watched my uh, charging capacitor video where I measured current you'll probably notice that uh, with the the meter it looked very similar it started about 800 microamps and worked its way down while we were charging and then when we were discharging again started about 800 microamps and it worked its way down and uh, the rate that it worked its way down is probably pretty close to the same that's because I used the same capacitor and the same resistor you can control the the uh, charge and discharge time by the size of the capacitor and the size of the resistor 